Are you looking to bring in some visuals and graphics into your Zoom call using a virtual camera? and you've decided to use Ecamm, well then you are in the right place because today I'm going to walk you through how you can set up your first few scenes in Ecamm so you can get started right away on using the virtual camera feature and really adding some impact to your Zoom calls. Now, if we have not met, my name is Kat and I help you create professional and engaging online presentations. So let's get to it. To start off, in Ecamm. And now I do have a few scenes already populated, but we are going to create one from scratch. And you're going to want to think about what scenes are you actually going to bring in to your Zoom call. Now, what I recommend is having some sort of initial main scene that you would want to land on most of the time. In particular, I use something I call main cam, where I've positioned my camera in the way that I am comfortable and what I would want to bring in to my Zoom call. Now, if you are starting a scene from scratch, let's show you how to do it. You are going to add the plus sign, and now you can actually see what my camera picks up in my room, which is way too wide for me. I do not want all of this extra stuff showing. It's just too stretched out. So what you wanna do first is set up your camera. Now, if you have more than one camera, it's going to give you options to select it. You can either do that through dropping down your camera and picking which one. Mine happens to be connected to a Sony camera through a cam link. Or on your page, when you hover in this main window, you'll actually see any available cameras. Now I have disabled my built-in FaceTime camera as a way to just save energy. But if you had that, it would show up here. So you can select which camera you wanna use either through this way or through this way. But what I wanna do is make sure that it's in the position I want. So on your camera effects window in Ecamm, you wanna click zoom and pan. And then I'm going to drag the camera in to approximately where I think I might want it for this case. And then you can actually adjust, make sure that you are centered, that you don't have too much space above your head. These are some of the things you can think about, but get to a place where you feel pretty comfortable. So this scene, we can actually name it. So maybe this will be your main scene. Now we wanna create a title scene. So let's actually, because I like where this camera is, now I want to duplicate a scene, which is right here. So when I click duplicate a scene, it's going to be the same camera and any other elements that we've added, but we haven't added any yet. So now let's say this is the title where I wanna show the session title of the meeting that I'm running. So let's bring in a title. So we're gonna add that visual element. Now, if you have grabbed the quit start downloads that came with the PDF of how to get your virtual camera set up in Zoom, you will actually have access to all of these. And if you haven't grabbed that yet, the link is down in the description below. So be sure to grab that. It'll get you started really quickly. So we wanna add a lower third. So this is something that will go across the bottom of the screen and that's where I wanna put my title. So in this quick start downloads, there are four different options. Now there are a few ways to add the graphic to your scene. One is that you can actually just drag it up into the scene and then you can position it how you want it. Now let's say that I want it on the bottom. I can put it there. Now this camera window, you might think that's distracting. You can actually move this around to wherever you wanna put that. Now we have a background. We wanna add some text. So if you go over to overlays, so scenes has the collection of individual scenes and overlays is where you're going to edit those scenes. So now we wanna add some text. So let's add our title. Perhaps this is called the annual planning meeting and we wanna choose our font. Maybe we choose Montserrat, but let's stick with the original. You can also decide whether you want to apply an effect like having a shadow or no shadow, and you can change the colors to pick a specific color that you want. You can also adjust the size up or down, and you can decide, do you want it to just stay in one position or do we want it to fly in? And I'll show you an example of both. For now, because it's a title, let's just stick with a fixed position. We can also center that. Now it shows up on the screen and you just wanna drag it to wherever it is. Now, if you think that's a little bit small, you can actually make it bigger. So you can drag that to the size you want 
and then it has a helpful guideline that will show you when you are in the center, which I love. So now we've got our annual planning meeting. Our title is set up. So now let's change another one. Now something you can do is actually go back to this blank slide and make a copy of it because you won't be adding the additional elements of the scene. And maybe this is your agenda. And this is where you're going to, in your Zoom call, tell people what to expect on this annual planning meeting. Now that you've created this, you can actually drag it to the order that you would like, if that matters to you. So now let's create an agenda slide or scene. And what we are going to do in this case is use a side banner. So on this side banner, I have three available for you in the quick start downloads. I'm going to use the black just to stay consistent. And it's actually an 80% transparency. So you can actually still see a little bit of the room behind me. Now, because this is blank, we are going to add text again. So we come down to overlay and we add text. Now, in this case, we want to have the agenda title. And anytime you want to press enter to go to another space, you want to press shift return or shift enter. And maybe I want to space this out. So we've got our agenda. Maybe we're going to do some introductions because there are some new people. Maybe we want to do a budget update. And maybe we are going to do new initiatives. Oh yeah. And finally, we are going to add a uh, milestones. So there we've got some different things and maybe we wanna make that just a little bit smaller and we will add that to the page. So it will drop here, we wanna move that over and you can resize it because it's a sidebar, you just wanna be careful about how that goes. Now in this case right now, it's static, but maybe we we'll wanna have it fly in just for a little extra element. So if we double click on this, we can change this to fly in and then we can save that. So now when we transition to this slide, the text is going to fly in and I'll show you an example. So if we're on the title slide and we're kicking off the meeting and talking about what's going on and then we transition to our agenda, you will see that your text will come in from the side. It's just a nice visual element. You can use it or not. Now, this is an example where you are adding the text after the fact in Ecamm directly. Now, something that you can easily do is create your own side banner graphic where you already have the agenda typed in. So you're not having to spend time in Ecamm doing that. It is a little bit easier to control formatting and text and shape and get that all set up the way that you want it so that you can just bring in the graphic with all the text into Ecamm. So now we have a few set up. I'm gonna do one more scene example. And this is where maybe I wanna share my screen with the team. So let's create another scene. I'm going to go to the main camera and copy this one because it doesn't have all these extra elements. And let's call this one screen share. So the screen share is going to come a little bit later. Maybe I'm sharing an update on the budget through a intranet. So on this screen share, over in our main window, we are now going to, instead of the camera, we're going to want to pick screen share. Now, right now it defaulted to my current screen, but I have two monitors. So I actually want to go to my secondary display. Now you'll see that I have a browser set up. Now, right now you can see that I've got my browser and I've got my little picture in picture. That's not actually how I want it to look. So if you right click on this picture in picture, you can see the different options. So maybe I want it to be round and maybe I want that to be a little bit bigger. So this is one option. You can position yourself wherever you like on the screen and then you're able to scroll and show people the website. But I prefer it to look a little bit more professional. So let's take a look at in your quick start downloads, I have provided a couple of screen share overlays. So with this screen share overlay, let's pick the black. I drag that up here, but now you'll see it's a little bit messy. So I've got a window for my browser and I've got a window for me, but I kind of want to clean it up. So the first thing you can do is over on your secondary display is you can actually move the browser. Now it looks a little bit dark because I am filming this screen share right now. And that is why the site looks darker than usual. But now I can kind of scroll and see that the website fits. But me, well, 
I don't want to be a circle, obviously. So I can pick tall. And that's what this was designed for is to use the tall feature. So now I've got myself in this little window and I want to make sure that I stay there. If I did want to zoom out a little bit, I could do that. So maybe I don't have to worry so much about staying in that window while I am talking about the browser. However, there's another option for bringing in a camera. So this is the picture in picture and this is a default. So when you right click, you have the option to hide it. You can also toggle whether it shows above your overlay or behind your overlay. I like it to be behind the overlay, but let's say that you actually turn this off. You can go into overlay and add a camera here. And in this case, when you edit the camera, you can actually change which aspect you want. So in this case, I want to choose custom and custom now allows you to drag to whatever shape you want. So over here, we can drag this to the exact shape we want, however we position it. But now you're seeing that there's no chance to just put this behind the overlay. And that's because it's not actually a picture in picture. It is an overlay of a camera that we've added. Now the way to fix that is in your overlays, the one that will show at the top should be on the top. So we want this black overlay to be on top. So it should always be at the top of the list because this is the order that things will show up. So if ever something is hidden, you wanna just drag that up so that they're in the right order. So now we have our main camera where maybe we're talking to people and we wanna not have anything else on the screen and just focus on our speaking points. We have a title example. This could also be your name. And we have an agenda example showing the text flying in. And finally, we have a screen share example. So this is just four different types of scenes that we can then bring into Zoom and have that virtual camera so we can add that extra level to our meetings.